Hi everyone, travel addict guy here. I've got some breaking news, breaking news in Malaga. Unfortunately, we've got another lockdown, quarantine, whatever you want to call it, two weeks of closure here in Malaga. And it's over eight cases, eight cases, count them. Five, six, seven, eight. We have been over 1,000 cases for 100,000 and when we reach that level, it triggers a two-week shutdown of everything that is non-essential and we are at a thousand and eight cases so basically eight cases they have shut down all of Malaga over eight cases that is the way I feel and eight cases seems like a very small amount to go over that 1,000 case threshold but it is enough to trigger a two-week lockdown here or closure of all non-essential businesses so I'm actually in Palo right now, Pedro Galejo. I walked here with a friend of mine and we're here right now enjoying the day and it is completely empty. I don't know how else to describe it to you. It is completely dead now. It is unbelievable how things change just like that. Like they switched off a light switch and boom, everything is closed and it is really like a ghost town. It is really scary. Now another thing I wanted to talk about is Juan Mamoreno. They've asked him to actually to loosen up the restrictions a little bit. They say that they've just gone over this amount and they actually, it seems like today I saw, I was reading the amount of cases and it looks like they're back under the thousand. So they said, well, maybe he can loosen some of the restrictions because Malaga is especially hard hit with the hospitality industry. And you're putting a lot of people out of work by closing all the restaurants, bars, and cafes right now. And he said that he's very sorry about that. He is deeply, deeply sorry, but they cannot just go ahead and open to have to close again. So he said there might be some pain, some short-term pain, but we're just gonna basically have to live with that. So that is what he said. That is what we're dealing with here. I wanted to also comment on something I was reading here. There's something here written here. It says, Brexit's go home. So I'm not quite sure, some kind of Spanish graffiti here. So beautiful scenery behind me and a beautiful day here and though there's not many people so you can interpret that how you like brexit's go home so maybe that is just one person but there is also some repercussion from the brexit going on as well here so we're going to walk around here a little bit maybe show you some part of this town here and see what it looks like i have a friend and uh, she's actually a british uh, woman that i met here she lives in malaga and uh, she's a new friend of mine and her name is Deborah. So hello, Deborah. Hello. Yes, welcome to the video. And uh, we were talking about, you were saying something about, uh, you've also read up on these cases and what's going on here. And what do you think, uh, you said something about a Christmas effect. And what is that? Can you explain that to us? Yeah, because they relaxed the rules over Christmas. And that what's happening now is the consequence of allowing people out and about to celebrate with their friends at Christmas. Okay. And the families and, and, the, and the virus spread. Right. And that's it. And you also wanted to say that you were telling me as I was uh, speaking that the cases actually have come down today. Isn't that what you said? The Well, since, yeah, since they announced the closure of non-essential business because of the cases being over a thousand, it's actually come down again to less than a thousand. So it's less than a thousand right now. Already, yeah. Yes, but uh, they've less than a day. they actually brought that up to Juan Mamoreno and he is the president of Andalusia. And he said that, well, we can go ahead and open it and then we'll be closing it again. So basically he's saying that if we go ahead and open now, that it's gonna go back up and then we're gonna have to close it again. So he doesn't want to play that game. He just wants to go with the hard two week lockdown. So that's a decision he made. So you can see around us, I'm gonna show you here right now. I mean, it is completely dead. And I was here a few weeks ago, I made a video. You might've seen it where I was walking around with Miko and it was just so full of life, this uh, part of town. It was just full of people, people eating and enjoying themselves. And now it, it looks like a ghost town. It looks really, it's crazy. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's really, it's deserted. It's absolutely deserted. It's tragic. Yeah, it's tragic. It for is. The, for the businesses, it's tragic. Yeah, it is tragic, Deborah. I agree with you. Just everything closed. All these chiringuitos that are normally open, they are all closed. Wow, it is in the beach. There's hardly anyone. Look at it. Just a lone one or two people on the beach there. That is it. And all of these playscapes also closed for children. So I think you can have carry out still isn't that the uh the case deborah you can still do carry out i think some of these uh, restaurants yeah. are open you can do takeaway you can get takeaway coffee and takeaway takeaway food right but, but you can't sit down but all these places here it looks like they've just chosen to close they don't even have that yeah 
Well, some places in the city, they've got takeaway. Yeah, maybe it makes counters. sense in the in the downtown part. Yeah. But I think people are going to come here more to sit and eat. Yeah. So they're not going to this well, there's part nobody of town. here. Yeah. So, this so there's no point in opening, is there? It looks like it. That seems to be the case. And this is a Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday today. I yes. So. <laughs> this is the day. That's correct. This is the day it started. So for two weeks, we're going to have a complete closure. So that is wow, stunning news, and that is breaking news. Breaking news for you guys. But at least we can walk out. We can walk about. Yes, we can do that. So the the curfew is remaining the same. That is very good information. Well, two of us. We're not allowed to walk around in groups, are we? Uh, I think so. Two. No more I think. Than four. No more than four. I don't yeah. know. It changes every day, the, the rules. Well, I did see there was a group of four people back there. Oh, the you saw four people. Okay. Yeah. But a beautiful day. Look at it. Three people there. Yeah, really beautiful day. Beautiful day. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous day and gorgeous sunshine. So at least they're allowing us to go out. So that is the only positive thing. So you just have to be eating takeaway or cooking at home now for the next few weeks. Wow, gorgeous view behind me. Beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. So at least we have this beautiful view to show you. Unfortunately, no one here, hardly anyone to enjoy it. So we have almost a private beach uh, today, Deborah. What do you think? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes. I actually really like it. Gorgeous, huh? So that is one of the pluses. We have a lot of private, uh, private beach today. This uh, completely closed. You can see here is the Chiringuito. And this normally they would have this open and cooking and there's another one behind it and you can see just completely shuttered. There it is, completely shut down, shuttered. Here are the empty tables here. Normally there would be people here eating and there is no one. So another thing I wanted to mention that one of these kiosks, I bought some water from them and they're, they're open to sell you things like that. And he told me that one of these uh, uh, kiosks here that sells the, the water and the snacks and the candy that someone actually had COVID here and they had the virus. So they had to shut, they're actually shut down now. So that's what the man told me. I have no way of confirming that. And I'm not gonna show the place because I don't know if it's true or not, but that is what he said. So it's a possibility. So that is the first time I've actually heard of someone having it in this area. Do you know, have you heard of any cases that any people actually had it? No. That's quite strange because I haven't really heard of that either. So, wow, beautiful day. Here's some guy paddleboarding. Oh, he just fell. <laughs> this is, I said that he fell in the water. <laughs> or he's getting off, maybe. So, walking across this bridge here, and there's a guy here. He's just uh, enjoying his day right here. Hola, amigo. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Disfrutando, no? <laughs> Muy bien. Just enjoying the, the day right there. He's got a little table on the beach and I think he was having a drink earlier. We went by him. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of these guys are living right here in their vans, I think. Maybe traveling or they can't travel right now. Completely shut down. Nobody. Exactly. Shut down. Yes. I had a chat with a Spanish man and a long chat about this. What's going on? Basically, he thinks it's some kind of conspiracy, like to get rid of some of the older people and to lower the cost for the government and he's telling me like there's going to be a new age coming with the robots going to be taking over and there's not enough resources for the human uh, or for the population anymore so this is one of the theories that i'm hearing now so all kind of wild theories going around and he also said that the vaccine is going to be like some kind of agent where it's going to be reducing your fertility it's going to be reducing the population somehow so and asked if he was going to take the vaccine and he said uh, he's going to try to avoid taking it. So he didn't want to be on the camera with me. Well, it makes sense uh, with that kind of theory. So a lot of different theories rolling around there. And we're hearing a lot of them also in the comments section in my channel. Oh, yeah, it's right there. So here we are on the beach and on the beach you don't have to have the mask on so you can pull it down. And a lot of these playscapes here are closed for the children. But I talked to a man and he was actually paddle boarding there and he said you can paddle board and open air sports are allowed. So you're allowed to paddle, you're allowed to paddle surf, you're allowed to kayak, but the children are not allowed to play on the beach here. Well, that is uh, the strange rules that we have in place right now, unfortunately. So walking through this part of town here and 
Wow, I was just here a few weeks ago with Miko and it was just so, so lively here. And right now it is just completely dead. It's very, very pretty, but it's just like lifeless. It's really strange. Just lifeless, basically. So we're back into the center of town now and actually there's some police i don't know if you can see them they're in the kitty corner to me and they're actually writing tickets now we, we came across some more on the beach we got back into malaga so we didn't see any in in palo but we get back into malaga and now you've got the police writing tickets to people i guess about the mass they were definitely writing some tickets and there was a couple there looking for people and there's hardly anyone out and the guy looked like he had a mask on so i don't really know what they were stopping him for okay so back into town now and it's uh, very very quiet here you can see wow not too much happening in here right now. Very, very quiet in Malaga. Everything closed, basically. Shut down, shuttered. All for sale. This is gonna be for two weeks, guys. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Only thing open is a few carry out places. They're gonna have uh, some carry out, and that's it, or takeaway. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. So relaxing and. But it's just a shame for these businesses and restaurants and all these workers that are now out of jobs for the next few weeks. So that is very, very sad. And I did read that they were talking about doing something. That's what they're saying. But they've always been talking about doing something to help these workers and they never do. So let's hope this time that they do something, maybe pay their salaries, at least during this closure. So it looks like a couple takeaway places here. Not too much else happening. Very, very quiet streets here in Malaga. Okay, so the day is winding down. I'm back in the plaza here, the big plaza in Malaga, Plaza de la Constitucion. And you can see around me, it is quite, quite quiet. The only thing open is a little pharmacy here. And there is also a, like a bread uh, shop there, takeout, La Canasta for pastries and bread. So I have a little more information right now. 1,000 hospitalized right now in Malaga. So they're over 1,000 hospitalized and they've had 18 deaths. So that is the last information that I have. And they're talking about it is, they're very close to a collapse of the hospitals. So that is why they're taking the step of the shutdown. So that is what I'm reading right here, even though the new cases have come down to 912 in the last 24 hours. So that's how many new cases have been registered in 24 hours. So that is the information that I have for you today from Malaga. So hope you're doing well. We have two weeks of shutdown here, unfortunately. So we'll see you in the next video. When I have something new, I will give you an update. Travel Addict Guy. Take care, everyone.